Well, there are 10 million victims of domestic violence every year in the United States, and it is silently prevalent in communities all across the country. Shannon Bates is the new executive director of Safe Shelter for Domestic Violence Services in Savannah. She's here this morning with development director Catherine Autry to discuss how their organization will be spreading awareness and prevention information throughout National Domestic Violence Awareness Month in October. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good. Uh, a very important month coming up for Safe Shelter, but if you don't mind, I was uh, hoping you would kind of introduce yourself. Uh, I know you're no stranger to nonprofits in our community, but relatively new to Safe Shelter. How long you've been there and, and what are you finding out about the organization? Sure. I've been there since February, so just a short seven months, and really uh, it's eye-opening how much the community needs us. So we're the second largest shelter, domestic violence shelter in the state, and we are constantly overflowing our 48-bed emergency shelter, so greatly needed. Yeah, uh, greatly needed year-round, especially in a couple of days with Domestic Violence Awareness Month nationally. Uh, you're going to have a very busy month there. What is the, the kind of the emphasis heading into that month? We just want the community to be aware that we're here to help, to protect victims, to prevent domestic violence, and to promote change in our community. Right. And, and Catherine, there's a full schedule of events that month. Yes. I know you, you kind of have a grasp of several of them, and they're going to start off pretty early the first week. You've got something going. Yeah. Um, on Monday, we're going to kick off DV Awareness Month with our annual ribbon tying. Uh, we meet at Forsyth Park, and we tie purple ribbons on the trees surrounding the park. So this is just our way of kind of kicking off the month and letting the community know. Right. Um, and that, there's also a vigil involved with that, isn't there? There's it? a vigil on Thursday night. This Thursday. is our candlelight vigil where we come together to commemorate the victims we lost last year um, and also celebrate survivors. So it's a really nice right. event. And then I know there's, there's one kind of middle of the month as well. Yep, we're having a masquerade ball on Friday the 13th. Uh, this is going to be at the Thompson Savannah, um, who we have an ongoing partnership with. Um, so this is going to be a black tie fundraiser. We have Lake and Love coming to perform, uh, the Magic Curator, and some other surprises up our sleeve. So we're really uh, excited. Lake is wonderful. And then you kind of wrap up the month. I know that you'll be out in the community throughout the month, but you're wrapping it up. Uh, last week, I think the 26th, yep. uh, something, uh, it's, it's involved with a hashtag uh, to get awareness Everyone out. knows someone. Everyone, everyone knows everyone someone. Knows someone. Is how it's yep, done. this is our second annual conference. Uh, it's going to be at the Civic Center this year. Um, and this is where we invite community partners, law enforcement officers um, to come learn more about domestic violence. Fantastic. And, and Shannon, it just, again, it is important to get word out year round about this. What does October do for you to get you and SAFE out into the community and spreading word? I think having that spotlight helps uh, victims come forward who might not have known about us right. or might have been hesitant otherwise. And, and, you know, you provided some uh, statistics, if we can pull those up. Uh, they really are quite disturbing. Uh, and one of them is that there are 10 million victims, as I mentioned earlier, every year in the United right. States of domestic violence. Yeah. That's, uh, I mean, it's hard to think about. What that calculates out to is 20 people physically abused every minute. Right. Remarkable. Right. And last year we helped almost 1,900 people in our community uh, who were impacted by domestic violence. Wow. And if you can see those numbers also apply to our local community and our state community, uh, this is a national issue. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. And we get folks from every zip code in Savannah. So Safe Shelter is not just serving Savannah. We should mention that, that it's, it's regional that your, your clientele. Yes, we get um, folks from Liberty County, Bryan County, Effingham County. Uh, we do have um, partner shelters throughout the state, uh, but we get uh, uh, the bulk of ours from Chatham County. Yeah. Hey, Catherine, yeah. if folks want to get involved, uh, how can they reach a safe shelter, and is there an opportunity for them to volunteer as well? Absolutely. Um, visit our website, um, or you can email Shannon or myself, um, and we can get volunteer hours started immediately. What is that website if so folks can do? Safeshelter.org. Right, and that's where they can also get tickets to the gala, right? Yes, it's absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations and, and good luck uh, with Safe Shelter. Thanks. Such an important uh, position in our community, such an important organization, and uh, we look forward to you doing great work over Great, there. thank you. And, Thanks, Tim. Uh, we know that you're both going to be out and about throughout October, but then also continuing that message all through the year. Every day. Appreciate yep. it. Thank Thanks you. So much. Thanks, Tim. Uh, still coming up on Morning